niggas claim to be priests. Some of these niggas claim to be preachers and men of God and this and that, but are ignorant as the day is long. Now we got this conversation about the name or the term Hebrew Israelite, if it's going to stay or go. And then these devils that have clamored around the RBG Hebrew movement to throw stones at it, only to have the stones bounce back and hit them directly in the head when you find out who and what the royal Ethiopian Hebrew uh, order is. Yeah. <laughs> so, what I wanted to do right now is just actually come and touch on what some of these Negroes are misappropriating and telling y'all. Okay. The term Hebrew Israelite, I've heard people say that Hebrew is a nationality. Hebrew is not a nationality. It is not. It is a race of people. Okay. When you talk about the term race, you can easily see it being, as written in the Bible, concerning the Israelites. Abraham is not a Israelite. Let's get that out of the way. He's not. Neither is he a Jew. How can he be what came from him? The tribe of Yehuda or Judah is one of his later descendants. Mm -hmm. And so Abraham is not a Jew. Abraham is not an Israelite. Abraham is actually a Chaldean. Uh huh. A Chaldean. Look at your map and you find out where that's at. In the Bible, he is called the first Hebrew. Why? Because he was called out of his land for what? A promise of what? A nation. Uh huh. How did that nation start? It didn't start in the loins of Russians and Germans and Hungarians and Austrians. It started in the loins of a man that was called out of Chaldea to Canaan. Canaan. Number one. Let's get that shit straight. To Canaan. Get that word in your mind. Canaan. Or Canaan. Canaan. All right. The promise that the Most High gave Abraham was not simply this little place here and this little swath of land. Come on, y'all. Have you read the Torah? The promise to Abraham and even to Moses and Joshua and to those that were Hebrews, that they would become what the redactors called them in the book of Exodus, Israelites. Pursuant to the prophecy that God would establish through Abraham a nation starting with a race. He was the first Hebrew given a promise. The promise was not just simply concerning land, Canaan, but it was concerning a people which turned out later to be tribes. These tribes are actually truly nations in themselves. But shall all be called really one nation. There were actually later in the Bible fights where Judah and Israel split. But really all one nation through prophecy, but one race through genetics and Geography. Let's tell you how that works. Why are Hebrew Israelites calling themselves Hebrew Israelites? Because of the race and nationality that had to do with the promise to Abraham concerning the land of Canaan. And even his meeting with Melchizedek. Who is that? Now I know y'all don't speak Hebrew. Melchizedek. Melchizedek was from a specific place, and it's on this map right here. Mm -hmm. King of peace. A king and a priest, which came through another order. We've been talking about orders all day. 
<laughs> we talked about the Ethiopian Hebrew order. Mm -hmm. Why didn't they call themselves Israelites? Because they had not yet received the full fullness of the promise. Huh? Come on, y'all. Who's occupying Israel today since the 40s? Russians, Hungarians, Austrians, Germans, and others. Not Hebrews, not even real Israelites, because Israelite has a clause that means that you have to actually be connected to the family. <laughs> so, what is the promise? Y'all have forgotten. It's not just about Israel. Hell no. Come on, y'all. What did God, what land did God promise Abraham? And what land did Abraham go to? Did he, did he run up into Jerusalem? Did y'all forget? The promise was the land of Canaan. And there was much bloodshed over the land of Canaan. So says the book of Joshua. And there was a lot of shit going on in Canaan, like giantism and a lot of other genetic maladies that God wanted to breed out of that place. That's why Joshua's story and book is so goddamn bloody. And I suggest to some of you Negroes today that fucked this story up, you probably would have been cleansed uh, by Joshua. The promise was Canaan. Now let's look at this map of Canaan. Canaan looks a bit bigger than this map of Israel or what you call Israel. Let's look at it again. Canaan, where Joshua went and shed blood and Abraham gravitated to this place, this place after Ur. Again, who was Abraham? Was Abraham an Israelite? Hell no, he can't be one of his children. Israelite and even Judah denote tribes, denote promise, denote land settlement. And the term Israelite does not encompass the whole of the promise. Get that shit straight. Canaan, look at it. At the time of Joshua, these are the borders of Canaan. This is Israel today. Do you see the Dead Sea? Look at the Dead Sea on this map. Isn't there more land on the right side? Mm-hmm, I know. There's something fucked up about what they're calling Israel today, even. And some of you Negroes from the ISUBK sneaking over there to lay up in the bed with the wrong people and the wrong borders. But anyway, I ain't going to get caught up on that. So what is a Hebrew Israelite? Again, let me say it again. Hebrew is not a nationality. Hebrew is a race. And the Bible declares that Abraham was not an Israelite and damn sure not a Jew. He can't be his own child. He was a Chaldean called out of Chaldea so that God could create in him not only a nation, but a race starting with what? The name Hebrew, which he is declared to be the first Hebrew in the Bible. Uh-huh. And that smacks of truth when I tell you that you don't have the right to tell no motherfucking body what to call themselves. Huh? Abraham was born a Chaldean. By all intents and purposes, by the government standards of this world, he would still be recorded as a Chaldean because of his birthplace. But when God says... Is so, is so. And God called him out of that place and gave him a promise, not only of a nation, but of a race, a people, the people that God himself would call his people. Uh huh. And those people were born not in this place, but they had to fight to take this place under Joshua. They were born in this place. Down lower, Egypt. Uh-huh. Oh, yes, they were. And out of Egypt have I called my son.
I heard Israel doctors stealing the, the truth because you ain't been preaching. And ain't nobody else talking about that prophecy today, this week, this month, except your brother Michael and the Holy Spirit speaking it. Yes, but out of Egypt have I called my son, speaking of not only Jacob, but name changed to Israel, a descendant of Abraham, uh huh, who was a Hebrew. Jacob was a Hebrew. Israel, the man, Jacob, and the nation were Hebrews. This is a race, Hebrew. Now, when you talk about the term Israel, you're dealing with nationhood, statehood. Uh huh. And a solidification of a promise held on to that this land, the promise shrunk down to this, but they still held on to the promise. Right. Hebrew is a race. Israelite is a nation. Now, why is it so bad for you to say Hebrew Israelite? What's wrong with that? When you know what it is, you should be able to say it. But most of these Negroes don't know that. They've forgotten that Canaan was the promised land, not just Jerusalem and not just the white man's Jerusalem, the small Jerusalem, the border Jerusalem, the bloody Jerusalem. I said the order of Melchizedek, Melchizedek, a king and a priest, high priest. He was called the king of peace. Oh, shit, y'all. <laughs> so let's look at one other thing right quick. Here, look at these. All of these are scriptures, man, that talk about Canaan, not necessarily Israel. Come on, y'all. So when you talk about Canaan, Canaan itself actually it encompasses the whole idea of Hebrew and Israel. Huh? I said Hebrew is a race. Abraham was the first progenitor of that race. And I said he had the right to call himself a Hebrew because God called him a Hebrew and gave him a promise. And God called us and gave us a promise. Oh, yes, a promise of resurrection through prophecy. So come on, y'all. Why are you Negroes worried about what we call ourselves? If we are BG Hebrews, if we're Ethiopian ordered Hebrews, if we're Hebrew Israelites, why are you worrying about that when the order is souls? You dumb bastards. See, that's what lets me know that there's something fucked up about Tazariak and there's something fucked up about Izzy. Y'all worrying about bullshit. But this is about prophecy. This is about race and nationhood. This is about a people. This is about salvation and atonement and resurrection and most specifically repentance for you devilish Negroes. Now, reconcile all of that shit, man, and y'all shut the fuck up and stop embarrassing yourself. Chasing God down when you're his enemy. This is what happens. You get made a fool of. Now, I'll be back tomorrow with more.